All right, the big breaking news though, it's got to do with the oath taking ceremony of Prime Minister Modi and uh, that Mamta Banerjee has decided that she will not be attending. Now this is an occasion to celebrate democracy and that uh, really nobody should devalue, uh, should be devalued by any political party. But what's happened, Mamta Banerjee has gone ahead and said this. Very clearly she said exactly that that not nobody uh, should be devalued by any political party. But then she goes on to actually explain why is it that she's decided not to, uh, you know, come for this uh, ceremony. Yesterday itself, uh, she said that, yes, she would be coming as a constitutional courtesy, but today she's changed her stand. Now, Mordipa, once again, with us for more on this, uh, she says a few things in her statement that's on Twitter, that Narendra Modi has compelled me not to attend the ceremony. BJP is claiming 54 people murdered in Bengal. This is untrue. There have been no political violence in Bengal. Uh, swearing in ceremony can't be devalued by any party and it can't use it as an opportunity to score political points. Is she uh, correct in all that she's saying? Uh, Amit, are you asking me that? Whether it's correct or not? Uh, uh, what she is basically uh, saying is that, uh, you know, she has changed her mind. Uh, and she has changed her mind, prompted by reports. Since the morning, uh, we were told by the BJP that 54 people were special invited to the oath taking ceremony. 54 people, relatives of people who had been killed, they claim, uh, allegedly by Trinamool in the violence. Sometimes they have said six months in the last six months, sometimes they have said in the last six years. So, 54 people with uh, very heavy hearts heading to Delhi, escorted by the BJP. They will be received over there by the BJP and will be taken to the oath-taking ceremony by the BJP to be part of this, uh, you know, uh, momentous occasion. Now, this is what the BJP has been putting out to us. And in the meantime, uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee's reaction like this. Now, among the people who are there at the Howrah Delhi station, uh, waiting to board the Rajthani at 4.50 and head to Delhi are, you know, people like the parents of that young boy, uh, if you remember, who was found hanging from a tree last April, uh, just before the Panchayat election. This was in Purulia. Now, his parents are heading there. They believe that their son was killed by the Trinamool Congress, though Mamta Banati, as she has stated in her tweet, that there is no uh, legal or any kind of evidence uh, to this effect. Uh, what she claims is there were people who died in family feuds or some other dispute, and they are being passed off as BJP uh, people, victims allegedly of the Trinamool, and therefore this situation. Uh, now, Mamta Vanity perhaps has the right to take offense to this situation. Uh, you know, that is something that is going to be debated, and it, I'm sure, uh, but she has taken her decision. Uh, we knew that she was taking the flight at 5 today to Delhi, but now uh, she is not. Instead, what we will have is 54 people heading to Delhi in the Raj army. The political ramifications of this decision by Mamta Banerjee uh, are sure to be, uh, you know, uh, will have echoes all around. Uh, Mamta Banerjee uh, taking serious offense at the kind of uh, media focus, the kind of uh, media, uh, you know, uh, trust that has been given to uh, the 54 people who have uh, who are boarding the train today, um, so we will have to wait and wait and see how political parties react. But uh, you can imagine that the BJP will not react kindly. They will probably say that Mamta Banerjee cannot face up to facts. Already, Mamta Banerjee under huge pressure with some 60 people joining, uh, the, you know, leaving the Chamber Congress and joining the BJP yesterday. More are supposed to join today, and much more has been promised or threatened in the next one month. So Trinamool Congress already under pressure, and, uh, you know, that she was going to the swearing in ceremony also had come as a bit of a surprise, though she did say it was a constitutional courtesy, uh, but now all, uh, you know, uh, all sort of remnants of constitutional courtesies and otherwise uh, they are clearly in tatters, Mantabanji, not going for that meeting, for the oath